Okay, today is September 9th here in our garden in Ohio. As you can tell, it's still a little warm. Uh, gonna get close to 90 today, but what we're actually talking about is putting your garden to bed uh, for the winter with a cover crop. More importantly, annual rye. Annual rye is our go-to cover crop. Um, as you can see the seed, it's a, it's a large seed. Um, it gets confused sometimes with annual rye grass or even perennial rye grass. When you're going to your local nursery or feed store, garden center, you want to make sure you're getting a cereal grain. It's the grain version of rye. The reason for that is it'll it'll grow here in the fall. It'll come back. Um, it'll go dormant over the winter. Then it'll come back in the spring. And as you mow it off, and I'll show you here in a second, you can actually plant right through it. You don't need to till this in as a cover crop. But the reason we're talking about September today, as you can see behind me, our garden, our tomatoes are just now starting to fade. Great year for tomatoes. Our peppers, they'll stay on for a while. So if we were to wait until the entire year to try to cover crop all of this, it just wouldn't work. Um, we wouldn't get it in in time. You want to at least have three to four weeks for your crop to, to germinate and then grow. So as you look over here to the left, you'll see some of our crops we've already taken out, our beans, our zucchini. We've pulled those out now for the summer and we've already started um, planting our, our annual rye. And this is a good, good thing to do. You can do it slowly over time and you're not really always worried about trying to get everything done at once. So I'm going to kind of come down here and show you the only thing you need to plant annual rye is the rye itself and a rake. You don't need to till. In fact, we never till this garden. One of the reasons we don't have a lot of weeds in it. Um, these are our walking rows here made of bark. Uh, this is the growing row and I've actually already planted this, but I'm going to show you what I do. All we do is come into the row. We pull this back just with the rake like that. I'll come through. I'll seed it just about like that. I'll come back with the rake. I'll take my time, I'll just kind of do that. I don't have to cover the seeds completely. There's no reason. I'll usually do this, do the entire row that way. I'll remove the straw. I'll do that, then I'll come back over after I've raked it in and I just apply a light coat of straw. All that really does is it keeps the moisture to the seed and it keeps the birds from eating your seed as well. Then if you look over here, this is what happens. The rice starts coming through, nice strong thick growth. And actually, we got this in early enough. We've already mowed this off once. We let it get to about a foot high. We'll put our, our bagger on our mower. I'll run it through. It makes great, great mulch um, for our compost pile. Uh, we'll put it in there, a great ingredient or mulch around plants. Um, so we'll continue this process all in various stages. It sprouts rather quickly, usually within three to four days with the warm weather. And then we'll come back over here. And what we'll do with the pepper crop is as a plant dies or if a plant's gonna stay for a long time, we can actually start raking this back if we wanted to and plant that rye right down the row and let it to start to come up. If there's gonna be less than three or four weeks, that's what we'll do. If not, we'll pull the plants and then do the row. But the important thing with annual rye more than anything else, to get it in, you allow it to, to, to germinate, come up with this nice thick green coat that we have here and it protects your soil, it protects it from erosion. It's adding, the, it's gonna fix nitrogen in the soil for next year. Most importantly, it's keeping out any weed seed. If you look back here right now, and this has already been cut, that is a super thick coating that weed seeds can't get into. So that's one of the reasons we don't have weeds from here. We never touch the soil. We plant it, this will grow. Next year we'll mow this off. It'll start to die off. And as it does so, we can come right through with the post hole digger and plant our transplants, or we'll use a furrow, make a row and plant our seeds crop. seed crop, excuse me. This will come down. So annual rye, uh, inexpensive, probably the best thing you can do for your garden, not just to power it for next year, but to prevent weeds. It's really the, the difference maker in a garden from year to year.